Hey everyone, I'm Andy Carson. For couples planning a spring or summer wedding, now is the time to start shopping for things like rings, caterers, and more. But ask any bride, the first thing they really need to get is the gown. We thought it would be fun to find out what's hot this year in dresses. We are at Rosewood Bridal with these beautiful brides in the back bridal room. This is Teresa, the owner of Rosewood Bridal. We're going to learn about some of the trends that we're seeing in dresses this year. What is new? Uh, well, this year we're really seeing extra detail. So a lot of more European styling, I'd say, where it's a lot about the detail. We have the ruffles, we have color, we have a lot of kind of almost um, throwback to glamour, 50s sort of things you can mm -hmm. imagine seeing on Doris Day or Audrey Hepburn, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So a lot of romantic detail. I like that. Talk about the, the A-line here. Are we seeing a lot of that this year? Yeah, we still, the most flattering silhouette for every body type is the a-line and it's okay. the easiest to walk in but it is see a little longer here on taylor so it's got a little more figure consciousness to it mm -hmm. but then flares out and really shows off the ruffles and this is a new um, european line that we're just starting to carry right now which i just love out of spain it's absolutely gorgeous a lot of the uh, trend that we've seen for a long time too is the strapless strapless still holding strong okay I mean, yeah and i you know it's a great style very elegant but it's also the movement, um, having seen the sort of uh, change through the years of the style with the, the sleeves and the straps and everything like that, people put the strapless on and they can move their arms wherever they want and they, compared to when you have a strap or a sleeve, yeah, it's, it, it feels nice so I think that's part of it. But we are starting to see more um, straps and um, different detail on top so here we have this sheer sort of halter which is, I mean, absolutely a Doris Day dress. Like, straight out of the 50s which I love and then great detailing with the larger stones and then a small a-line mm -hmm. so really accenting the waist but still have the ease of movement right and you don't need to buy extra jewelry for that you've already got a I necklace know, right there great? I know <laughs> it's absolutely fabulous how about headpieces anything different there we are well everyone wore a tiara a couple years ago, like literally every bride wore a tiara. Mm -hmm. We're still doing tiaras, but we're doing a lot more like feathers, flowers, brooches, um, that kind of thing in the hair as well. And then usually the veil goes over, and then you can take the veil off for the reception to kind of change up the whole look. Uh huh. Some girls even change their hairdo. Do they between, really? Yeah. Bustle the dress, take their hair down maybe, and do a side sweep take off their veil and have a whole other look for the rest of the night. And they wear their dress for the both All the reception and the wedding. Yeah, they do. I mean, they show on a lot of those TV shows the, the really fancy, expensive wedding yeah. changing. I don't know why. Girls want to wear it. This is the one day to wear your wedding gown. I I'm know. wear it all day. Yeah. <laughs> don't wear it for just two hours. Exactly. Wear it for the whole time. Exactly. Well, these are gorgeous dresses and some fun trends that we're seeing. But, but also, you know, you can be original and do, you know, what fits you best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Brooke. You can get a first-hand look at those dresses and more at the Portland Bridal Show this weekend. For tickets, head to portlandbridalshow.com. Thanks for watching. Don't go away. Better will be right back.